Yo, 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 it's your motherfucking. <sighs> Face ass nigga, I'm in this bitch though. I'm in this bitch though. Like, you ain't even see me. Look at me. I ain't from here. I got a unicorn behind me. I'm not from here. But. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it though. So look, as you can see by the title, it's something simple. You know, it's not. It's like you probably already know this. I'm probably telling you everything you already know, but I still have made some notes. Took me like a day to write. Put it in my notes. Did and then come come right here. Cause I, I, cause I told I told my channel I was like, which y'all I asked the question. I said, which y'all like more amigo content or which y'all like, um, you know me to drop away for y'all to get more confidence and boost your pride so that's that's what this is all about you know i'm gonna go to my notes and i'm gonna break it down real fast and efficient like that i might have to pick my mic up because some reason you know i don't like yelling <laughs> i for real i don't but if i do yell then it's gonna get real hectic like i'm sure like you said if you see me yelling is I probably finna go there if if I'm ever yelling I'm going there like I don't yell I'm not a type of I'm not a loud person for real I'm not a loud person for real I ain't soft spoken either I I say I talk my shit I spit my lick to whoever the fuck I don't get no fuck who you see this is not about me this is not about me I just I I I just don't be holding back oh, let me go to my fucking let me go to it let me go to the fucking let me go to my motherfucking notes. Okay. So this is going to be some tips. I'm going to be dropping like 10 tips for how to boost your confidence. And I'm going to drop 10 tips on how to boost your pride. Okay. All right. Bet. Let's get into it. So first tip for, you know, boosting your confidence. It says that I had, you know, typed up. Took me a little while to type it up. But, you know, I still did that shit because I was like, hey, this is my dream. This is my goal. This is what I want to be. So I was like, hey, let me go for it. You know, it's 11.55 p.m. Almost 12 in the morning. Hey, y'all sleep. I'm living my dream. That's how it be. But look, back into it. So it's a practice self-care. Take care of yourself physically and mentally by getting enough sleep. I As I'm staying up late doing this video, look, look, I, I know it sounds hypocritical. But okay, I'm telling you, if you sleep, you got a good sleep schedule, it's going to make your confidence a lot better. Eat well, exercise regularly, and engage into activities that makes you happy. So doing what, what makes you happy, that's that's like a, a, like an easy one that, you know, somebody in this world could legit, you know, do. Like no matter, like you, anybody, you don't have any no money to do to do what enjoys you. I mean, unless you like making money, that's, that's a, hey. That's pretty fun, but uh, you know, you isn't that's not the only way to have fun. You don't need money to always have fun, but hey, that's fun too. It's, I ain't, I ain't, hey, hey, I ain't gonna hate you if you if you if you if you like to make money for fun. Hey, hey, do your thing. Hey, 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 I ain't hating on you. Like you got you got your own way of fun. You know, I do like have fun like that too. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, what y'all want me to lie to y'all, I'll be transparent as fuck, whether you hate me, I'd rather you hate me, cause I know where you stand than fake love, but back to it though, so the second one, it says, set small achievable goals, start with small goals, and walk your way up, damn, what the fuck, I was getting possessed by a fucking, fucking like a spirit in the UK, hold up, get the fuck out, go, if you is not trying to you know make me do the best in my life get the fuck away from me i don't care if you, you demon you angel get the fuck away from me if you don't if you what kind of spirit you is you you ain't shit like stay away from me <laughs> but back to it though it says start with small goals and work your way up gradually celebrate your victories along the way so you know every accomplishment that you see do appreciate it and you know give yourself one day to celebrate and then the next day go to get go get another reason to be celebrated you know um the third learn new things take up new hobbies and learn a new skill to challenge yourself and build confidence so that that's like another way for you to be able to build confidence by you know actually learning how to fight 
or learning uh, some knowledge that you could uh, put some people in a check, put them in some place. You could legit use some big words on some people who don't know what that word means. You could make them feel like a peony, like little, like, you know, they can't, they brain don't work type shit. But, you know, you don't even got to do all that. You could really just, you know, get into the knowledge. And the more that you know, the more powerful you're going to feel, the more confidence you're going to feel, you know. So it's really, it's just really just about, you know, you actually being willing to try something new. Get out your comfort zone. Alright. Now, the fourth way to boost your confidence. You need to challenge all negative self-talk. Learn to identify negative thoughts and replace them with a positive affirmation. See, look, a positive affirmation that you can replace it with is I'm flawless. My life flawless. See, like, you know, that's the hey, that's look. That's that's simple. It's not hard to say, it's not hard to remember. Now, now look, if you don't use it and try it on, and try it in your own life, then, you know, don't come at me at all. Like, like, but if you use it and, you know, it, you see the, how it could work for you, you, might, you know, maybe you don't got to say flawless. Maybe you say I'm boss or whatever you come up with, but just know I've, I'm flawless is the, to, uh, the uh, frequency and vibration that you, you know, you could keep operating on because like anything less than, you know, flawless that that just means you know you're not feeling like you say who you are like you're not accepting yourself for you so just you know be yourself instead of trying to be somebody else but other than that though remember positive affirmations i remember positive affirmations over self self negative talk because your subconscious your subconscious does not know what is serious or what is fucking like a joke you can say Haha, i'm stupid because you did like you did some fucked up shit but your subconscious gonna manifest more more ways to prove that you're stupid instead of you you know being in a space where you know you saying i fucked up right there but i know you know i'm not slow um i just made a mistake and then move move on you you know you gonna see that you know you where you could be making mistakes and you you gonna learn from them. But other than that though, you know that that's a that's a way for you to uh, raise raise your motherfucking um your confidence by changing how you speak to yourself. And another one, dress for success. Wear clothes that make you feel confident and comfortable in your own skin. So you know, I'll say anytime that you put a fit on, dress to impress, dress to get a compliment. Dress to, to like, you know, for your own self. Like, don't be, uh, just cause you, <laughs> like, so, so look, I'm gonna look, look, look. Just cause you got a girlfriend or a boyfriend, if you, whatever y'all, whatever. Yo, just cause y'all got one of those, don't let them make you feel like you shouldn't, you know, still put your shit on. Put that shit on, you know? Always put that shit on because dressing good makes you feel good. And when you feel good, you attract more things to make you feel good and if you feel bad hey that's how you attract more things to make you feel bad it's really whatever vibration that you are riding that's what you're going to experience all right now the sixth one for boosting your confidence surround yourself with positivity surround yourself with people who encourage you and support you avoid negativity as much as possible so what that mean right Stop watching YouTube videos that's toxic. Stop listening to songs that's toxic. Stop stop going out places that you know something toxic going to happen. Like, don't answer the phone if it's going to be a toxic phone call. Like, real life, you know, you can control where you go, control what you listen to, control what you see. And, you know, you can control what you say as well. But... That, that's, that's another way to boost your confidence, you know. Sometimes you need to just get out the house. Go to the park. Go to a girl house if you a dude. Or if you if if you a girl, you know, shit. Go 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 kick it with your ladies. See, I I don't, I don't, I don't support I don't support whole whole hoeing. I I go live. I ain't gonna tell you go fuck some niggas. I ain't gonna t- I ain't gonna tell you that. You know you gonna have to go find somebody else. You gonna have, you gonna have to find somebody else. Gonna go tell you go do that. I ain't gonna tell you go. I don't I don't support being a hoe. I support being a wife. So you if you you should you should want to be a wife. That that's what you should want to be like. Like hey hey hey, <laughs> that's just my my mind. You know, that's not you don't have you don't have to you don't have to believe that you don't have to you don't have to roll with me, nigga. I ain't hey hey real shit. But back to it though. So it uh seven it says stand tall. Good posture can help 
boosts your confidence levels instantly. So just being like like attention, like on some real shit, like like attention. Just like when I say attention, it just should just make you feel like like just tell yourself attention in your head. Like and you do the military stand. Like I don't know if y'all had the military ass motherfuckers come to y'all school and make y'all yeah you know, I make y'all do like a bunch of military ass shit. Push ups, uh, pull ups, all that type shit. Uh, 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 with the the pacer, all that type shit. You know, but you know, before they made you do that, they was like a ten ten, and they made everybody stand up straight, look at them. So just you know, standing up straight and tall, and fixing your posture. This this will boost your confidence off. Just that you know, you you always remember to do that before you go out, before you. You know, you, you get up. Remember, am I, check yourself. Is my posture straight? Am I am I am I am, am I am I uh am I like you know my am I am I feeling like big or am I feeling slunched over? Not 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 in the sense of like really in it. Like, are you just there or are you in it for like you ready like you? Dodge weave. I'm I'm with the shit. Ooh, like I'm telling you, man. Y'all know what I mean, though. The the ones that know what I mean, though. Y'all know what I mean. And then eight. It say practically, practically, practically. I fucking misspelled. Hold up. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It say practice your assertiveness. That means be more direct. Speak up for yourself in a respectful manner when necessary. It will help you build an inner strength and confidence over time. Whenever somebody try to step on your toes, whenever somebody try to check, put you in check. Make sure you you know you stand up for yourself, and then that boosts your confidence. Just just off that, just off that, cause you stood up for yourself. Look, look, on some real shit. Stand up for yourself. Be direct. Don't be indecisive. Cause that's a decision. So when you are in that in that space, choose to stand up for yourself. Alright, nine. For how to boost your confidence. I'll make the hey, I'm gonna make this a TV show. I think I'll play it. Hey, this is gonna be a TV show. Watch this shit. Hey, I'm telling you. Alrighty. So this is the ninth one. Embrace your failures as learning opportunities. No one is perfect. Use failures as an opportunity to learn and grow. So just know you are the masterpiece in the work of art at the same damn time. Like you in the work process of finishing and you the, the finished final. Voila. You know, you that at the same time, you got to you got to actually keep that in your head. Like not just really think that, you know, yeah, that's some cliche shit. You know, I'm, I'm almost I'm almost there. But nah, you gotta really feel like I'm this nigga, I'm that nigga, I'm the affirmation nigga. Real shit. Hey, shout out to shout out to this tribe. You know, they put that shit in my head. But look, 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 look. If you made mistakes, learn from them. That's all it is. You know, don't don't be like too worried. Like I can't make any more mistakes. Okay, you learn. You learn from those old mistakes, so it's gonna be hard for you to make new mistakes because you learn from them old mistakes. So the new mistakes, you know, you're gonna be too too ahead. Like oh, I can't. Yeah, like the uh, like I ain't even really watched that Matrix movie type shit, but uh, I ain't I really never, but like shit, you gonna be like dodging or even and shit. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I just know that one clip where like the bullet just is coming, and then the that nigga, oh uh, that nigga Neo, my life path one, <laughs> but that nigga Neo, right? He, he like, like dodging the fucking bullets, you know type shit, but. <clears throat> I right, here's the last one for boosting your confidence. Then we're gonna drop drop uh some more for pride. Uh so look, it say that I had typed up, you know, it took me a while. I misspelled my little wifey, she ain't had the time to type it for me, I'm gonna be honest. She ain't had the time to type it for me. She like look, she could have. I ain't wanna wait for her. All right, I'm, that it was on me. It was I ain't wanna wait for her. It was a personal per- I ain't wanna wait till she typed what I told her. I could just get it out, you know. I just type it myself and get it out, cause like, waiting never gets you nowhere. But so the tenth way to boost your confidence, 
okay? Celebrate your uniqueness. Embrace who you are. And celebrate your unique qualities that make you special. I want you to know, everybody who's watching this right now, your superpower right now is that you yourself. There's no one in this existence that is you. There's no one in this existence that knows your secrets like you know them. There's no one in this existence that knows what you do behind closed doors but you. Okay? So, just know, you special in your own way. Okay? Now, there's some people in the world... There's a little, little, little too special in the like, not in the, not in the glory of lights of special. They, they more of a sped. But you know, I don't hate nobody, you know, cause I, I know some sped kids that's smarter than them. So it, 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 it's not, it's not like they special, special ed. They just like, they mentally just not there. You know, they brain just don't work like a lot of other people. So it ain't, it ain't like they brain supposed to work like others. It's just they don't use their brain. But this this not about me, cause like I got a lot of a lot of shit I dislike in this world. But I don't hate people. I just dislike the world. But um but um uh, I just I just had to give a little head nod, you know, it's a real shit. But um Yeah. So I want everybody to remember though. Like, the final thing is, like, for you to really build your confidence, you have to practice this, you know, and it, it really is going to take a p- time. It's a process. You just now finding about what I'm telling you if you just hearing this or it should be just a reminder. Like, this should, the, everything I'm saying to you should just be reminding you. It shouldn't be, like, something new to you. I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video is confident and you will be Tricking yourself if you think that you're not. But, okay. Some ways to boost your pride. Okay, so I kind of, I kind of, you know, I just kind of, like, reanalyze what I put for, you know, um, boosting your confidence. But it's like I reworded it in a way for uh, you to take on for your pride. So it's a take pride in your accomplishments. Celebrate your achievements big or small so say that you just gained one subscriber i or you just gained your a thousand subscriber or you just gained your a hundred million subscriber appreciate all of them celebrate all of them every fucking one matters whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I, when i say everybody matter I you talk about like 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 when I say everybody matter, I'm saying every one of your fucking your your accomplishments matter, okay? I I just want I just want to know, hey, these words I be the words put together, they kind of sound like something, uh, sound like a word that sound alike, but you know, that's just that's just that's just this world down here. But this not the this 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 nothing. This is the dimension we running in right now. Like, I'm running in and shit. I ain't coming back. I swear to you. But look, it's a that I had tight up. Practice gratitude. Damn, that, that came out a little like spicy. But focus on things you're grateful for in your life. Yeah, I feel like this is this uh, this the Sag um, the Sag Moon. You make make me coming this passionate like this. You know, and in a deep way too. Like my. Ooh, uh, Okay, but yeah, <clears throat> practice gratitude. Focus on the things you're grateful for in your life. This can help you achieve what you have and boost your self-esteem. Okay? Alright, now, the third way to boost your pride. Surround yourself with positivity. Spend time with people who encourage, who encourage and support you. Avoid negativity as much as possible. So listen, I hear everybody trying to have, like, you know, ways to make money ways to you know sing better look this is the first thing that y'all need to do get the ability to block out anybody who don't believe in you get that ability when you got that ability you on your way fourth dress for success okay so again you remember when in confidence you gotta you gotta dress good to feel good so dress for success i want you to dress up like that's finna be your debut that's finna be the day you blow up that's finna be the day that um you became the president type shit and then fifth 
a fifth way to boost your pride do something kind for others helping others can give you a sense of pride and purpose so if you out here serving somebody like <laughs> if you out here you know being in service and you know you got a good service like you're not a person who uh a burden you know you can serve much more than um be a burden so you know you serving somebody you doing something like something that you can do in helping somebody that can boost your pride you know but don't get lost in your ego you you gotta remember that you know service and it's not no ego thing but <coughs> I, the sixth way to boost your pride, set goals and achieve them. Setting goals can help you motivate. Wait, what? Oh my God! I fucking I can't, I can't I can't spell. I'm telling y'all. But look, hold up. Okay, okay. Set goals and achieve them. Setting a goal can help motivate you to achieve things that make you feel proud of yourself. So anytime you achieve a goal, I want you to write it down. Any goal that you achieve, accomplish anything off your bucket list that you accomplish, I want you to write it down, right? And after you write it down, I want you to go about your day, but like you ain't never wrote it down. And then anytime you feeling like, you know, like you ain't you ain't shit, or you feel like you ain't um worthy, I want you to go look at uh, all the goals that you accomplished. Like look at what you're doing in your life. All right, seven back again so you know it it was like in the uh the boosting your confidence it was like you know do i said i said a little of what i was saying right here but i ain't necessarily say this say it all like this so uh another way for you to boost your pride is embrace challenges take on challenges that are outside of your comfort zone this will help build resilience and confidence so if you if you are a person who you know n needs to get out they shell you know all you got to do is do something that you never did before go to go and get inspired to try something that is is worth um worthwhile like it's worth it's worth uh you know you trying something new because like Cause if you keep on doing the same old old thing, you ain't never ever 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 go get out your comfort zone. Cause you keep going to what's comfort to you, what's comfortable to you. I and eight way to boost your motherfucking pride. Learn from a failure. You know, I said this in boosting your confidence, but this is this is real shit. Learn from all your failures your path and use the past mistakes use the past mistakes as an opportunity to learn and grow from them instead of dwelling on them this will boost your your pride dramatically bro i just put two words to, together what the fuck i ain't even mean to do that shit like i y'all still got me though i don't get no fuck i ain't even finna break it. i ain't even finna break it down again that shit was just too magical i'm gonna have to i'm gonna just leave it at that <laughs> Alright, so look, another way for you to boost your pride is say speak up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. This is what I put, you know. I, I, I really sound like a nigga. I really sound like a motivational ass nigga. <laughs> Even in my real life, I talk to people who don't want to hear, hear this shit, who don't care for this shit. I talk to them like this. I don't get no fuck if they, if they fucking with it or not, yo. Get the fuck away from me if you're not like you, nobody told you to come by me. You think I walked up to you and was like, yeah, you, little, you know, you need to, you need to start connecting. No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna walk up on you. Tell you need to start connecting with yourself. You need to step back, take time to yourself. You need to do some work. I'm not gonna tell you that, nigga. Go tell yourself that, nigga. Fuck. Hey, but back to it though. So it was saying, you know, for you. To speak up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. Even if it's challenging or unpopular. So that means, you know, even if the crowd against you. Even if your mama don't want to hear it. Even if your dad don't care. 
You need to say what's on your mind and say it your peace. And hey, and go about your day. But hey, look, 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 look. Know your limits. You you a spirit as well as they is. So know your limits. You get a foot in your ass, it's your fault. But just know you you were supposed to get that foot in your ass because if you didn't, you would probably still be talking shit. But back into it, back into it, back into it. And last but not least, celebrate your uniqueness. Okay? Again, that's the legit. Like I'm telling y'all, like, celebrate your uniqueness. Like, what is what is unique about you, you might think? What is unique about you, you think? What is something that you think is so corny and quirky about you? That's what's unique about you. And that's that's the end of this. That's the end of this. You know, I'm fly like I'm on a Nimbus. That's what this is about. Enjoy the energy. Peace.